I'm revisiting the question on trigonometry. This is an isosceles triangle. These two sides are exactly the same, which means that this one here is going to be 8.2 centimeters as well. You have to work out all the angles inside this triangle. To do this, you have got to drop a line that will cut the triangle exactly in half. So the line's going to go right down the middle there. And the reason why you do that is because then you've got a right angle triangle. We do have two right angle triangles. We've got a right angle triangle on this side as well, and it does not matter which right angle triangle you use as long as you use one of them. So we're going to use the one on the right hand side here. And if I just draw that triangle out again, we know that this hypotenuse is 8.2. This is 13.9, half of that will be the length of this one here, 6.95, one, uh, I hope to see that comes in there, once, once, uh, once we've done that we can now try and work out what the size of this angle is and we're going to call it theta, again you can call it anything you want, so we label the sides, this is the angle, Opposite the angle is the opposite side. So again, you draw a little arrow to show the opposite side. This is the right angle. Opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. And the last one that's adjacent to the angle is A. Adjacent is the side. If you want to, but the snow is just, uh, you can just listen to the snow. The next. The, yes, Holly. 6.95. 6.95, yeah? And the question. Holly, you're, you're speaking nice and clearly, Holly, which is good to, good to hear. The 6.95 came from half of 13.9. So that's where that comes from. Now, to work out the angle, we have to use Sokotoa. And we write down, that's the sine ratio. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. The cost ratio. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. The lines, we're recording. The, the, um, if we tick off what we've been given now, the hypotenuse we are given, so we're going to be ticking off the H's. The adjacent we're given, so we're going to tick it off the A's. So the only one with two ticks is going to be the cosine ratio. Yes? Well, no, because if you if you, if it was 12.9, when you have that, it would be 6.45. But because it's 13, if it, imagine, imagine it was 14. It's very close to 14, isn't it? Half of 14 is 7, which is very, very close to 6.95. Right, so using the cosine ratio, the cosine ratio is in the cos of the angle theta equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Yes? Yeah, well, we have to come on to that. We'll come on to the inverse cos in a minute. We're trying to work out the angle of theta, which is this angle in here. So we do the adjacent, which is 6.95. We have the hypotenuse, which is 8.2. And then to work out what the angle is, we have to use, as you're saying, the inverse cost of uh, 6.95 divided by 8.2. Yeah, you put that in brackets just to make sure that the uh, it knows to divide first of all and then do the inverse cost. Yes? Why does what? Because, because we want to work out what theta is on its own. And the snow theta is not in its own here, because it's got cost. When you're trying to find an angle, you always do the inverse cost. So when you put that into your calculator, make sure your cal calculator is in degrees. You can just see a little D there. So I'm going to press the second function, cost, in bracket, 6.95 divided by 8.2, close bracket. And I've got the answer there of 32.1 degrees to one decimal place.
So that is how you work out one of the angles in this triangle. We have worked out this angle here, 32.1. And with that information, we should be able to work out this angle over here because it's an isosceles triangle. And also, we can work out this angle up here because angles in a triangle add up to 180. So you don't need to do any more trigonometry. Once you've worked out one angle, you can work out the other ones just by using properties of a triangle. Yes? It depends how you work it out. If you work it out, for example, you grew it, if you wrote down 32.1 degrees there, and then you worked at this angle up here, using angles in a triangle up to 180, so that's 90, plus the 32.1, you'll get an answer for here. Now that one you would have to double, because then you've only worked out half of the angles at the top. So it depends how you work it out. So I hope that helps you with working out the angle inside a triangle using trigonometry.